to the grocery store or something, eat something, you know, it's, it's a girlfriend group there, okay? They always got to have somebody with them, okay? And most times it's a girl that's like-minded or a girl that really don't want to be there, but she's just there just because she want to get out of the house, okay? She's like, oh, I got to go with this girl. Okay, I'll go anyway, okay? The story goes on where they pretend as if they're not comfortable being in that environment, but yet they're there because they actually wanted to be there, okay? Twisted way of thinking, isn't it? You married the girl. Anyway, for some of you husbands. Anyway. So, her friend gets sick during the trip. That is her friend, not Steve's girlfriend. The friend that was with Steve's girlfriend gets sick. So the guy's like, well, it's not fair. I think I'm going to go ahead and call this trip short because he couldn't get what he wanted anyway. And he realized that, you know, his girl, Steve's girlfriend was kind of distant and she was playing the game. You know, she wanted to pretend as if, oh, I don't want to be here. But yes, she's there. Really? You know, I didn't want to be here to begin with. But yet she's sitting there in the pool party. Then why the hell are you there in the first place? That's their thinking capacity. You know, the elevator goes right here and stops. Okay. So the minute he pulls away, the friend says that immediately Steve's girlfriend started changing her whistle. She starts saying, wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, um, you, 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 what? This, you, you're going to leave the pool party? I, I mean, is it over? Do I have to go home now? So now her mask comes off. Now she's actually revealing to this guy that she actually really wanted to be there and she really was enjoying herself. She just didn't want him to let be let on that she was having a good time. Because, again, here's the defense of some women, because she didn't want him to feel as if he had an opportunity with her. When for a sensible, logical man or person, all they have to say is, I'm not interested in you. Okay, there will never be any relationship with you. I'm just here to enjoy the festivities and the party, which most times some people don't say. But even just showing up at the door is enough to let that person know that they have an opportunity because she should have been there to begin with. And she should have told Stephen or she should have invited Stephen or they should have counseled it and did that pool party on the different day where her and Steven can show up if she wants to be loyal to board because girls don't think like that. Anyway, the entire time she never called Steve, never said anything to Steve about it. Okay. She swore to her friend, say, Hey, this is between me and you. Okay. Don't tell Steve because if you hear about it, then there's going to be struggle and trouble. Okay. She gets back into town. Okay. And she has to go back to work again. And Steve's constantly working. He's constantly doing his thing, okay? And the boy that actually approached her at McDonald's knew where she worked at, okay? So it wasn't like it was a mystery or something like that, okay? And, of course, Steve knew about him as an individual. But here's the thing that happened that I need y'all to comprehend. Listen up. When they were working that day, get the story straight. All right. When they were working that day, it was at least two or three hours into the work shift, okay? And they're just bustling tables and doing the normal thing, okay? She was where the door was and where the tables were, like, midway stride. Steve was back here. Okay, so he's approaching. He sees this guy in front of his girlfriend talking to her about something. Not touching her, just talking, just having a conversation. And as he approached, he just didn't, Steve didn't say anything. Steve was like, okay, who's this, you know, what's going on? You know, he knew him, like, what's going on? What's up? Okay. Like, oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's just we're just talking about good times, right? But what that guy said was what really tore up everything. Okay, because he didn't hesitate to say the truth. If the truth is the truth, it's just facts. He said, Oh, we were just talking about the good time that we had yesterday at the pool party. 
that your friend here went to and we enjoyed ourselves we ate a lot her friend got sick but you know we're here you know we had a good time bro mind you the day before that and I saved this for a reason okay she took off that day because she should have worked yesterday you know just look at it that way she should have worked yesterday the day before but that was a pool party Steve knew something was wrong because she took off and she left a letter okay she left the letter for him to say hey I'm not going to be at work today I got some home business to take care of I'll fill you in later which her plan was never to fill him in later so there's a big box here of a question in Steve's mind like okay why did she take off she never takes a day off especially during summer break like okay what's going on here when we're trying to do something and we're used to hanging out so he finds out that she took that day off to spend time with this other guy okay so now he's hot and heated Steve is like how come you didn't tell me how come you didn't say anything how come you didn't open up your mouth and communicate how come you did not communicate? Because what the general population of women would do is not communicate because they want to do it anyway. Because they're going to do it anyway. So the excuse is, I got a doctor's appointment. I got to take care of my family at home. Or I got sick on a Saturday. Or, oh, it's 9 o'clock at night and we're supposed to have a dinner date. Um, Something came up. I'm not going to tell you what it is. That's because she's taking that time to spend time with nine other different guys who have approached her to fill in her schedule list. Okay? It completely broke Steve's heart that she would do something like that. Now... During that conversation, he did talk to her friend and nothing happened. And, you know, she just went to the pool party and, and uh, you know, she pretended like she didn't want to be there and the whole story. But listen, this is the lesson I'm giving to you. I know it sounds very elementary for some of y'all. I know it's non-complex. I know it's just something like, oh, yeah, whatever. It's just another story. People deal with that, like, every now and then. No, it's becoming common because this is the basics of the next generation this is what teenagers are dealing with 17 18 sometimes 15 year olds okay because us as parents and as leaders aren't telling the truth because we're we're not we're we are bad role models and they're picking up from us because we're in touch with because we lie because we make excuses and they watch us while they're six years old and we're 20 25 28 whatever else and they're listening and paying attention okay they do the same thing I'm just showing you the roots of it and it's not just Morpheus this is something that's becoming rapid so you can imagine what type of relationship we're having I'm telling you it's a civil war between man and woman because we want it to be because we allow our kids to be grown up like that now to get back to the story so he tells me that he can't trust her ever ever again and he said the same thing that you will be thinking right now. That I was thinking like, how come she just didn't call him while she was there? How come she didn't tell him how, hey, this guy invited me out to a pool party. I know that you know him. You know he kind of like me. But how do you feel about if I go to the pool party? What women would do is not say that. Because some there, somewhere in the back of their mind, they know that their man is not going to approve. Their man's going to say, no, we got something else to do. No, stay home. No, we're doing this. No, we're going to eat out somewhere else a different time. Or no, you shouldn't do it. So she uses her sense of illogical chaos. And this is the point I'm getting to. To survive. <laughs> So, of course, getting back to their story, he don't trust her anymore. Um, when he dates her, he dates her at a distance. Whatever she say don't mean anything because she goes like this. All right. 
but he's watching her actions, which is what he need to be doing. And now when she takes a day off, now if there's some separation, okay, he knows she's up to something because that's how she prepped herself to be. She wanted that position. She wanted not to be trusted. She wanted to be in a position where if she dates a man or men that are around her can't trust her. Okay? And come to, come to find out, she never said that she was sorry or apologized about the situation. She still claimed that he forced her to go to the pool party. Her friend that was there who witnessed said otherwise. Okay? He didn't drag her by the neck and say, you're coming to the pool party. He gave her a choice to show up in which she drove there on her own. And she still didn't want to take accountability for her actions. You want to know why? Because her mother don't take accountability for her actions. You want to know why? Because she too was a daughter of a single mother with no father at home. With no accountability. Now this is what I want to teach y'all on the line of things. And it's not an attack on women. Okay, y'all got to understand, even for you women who is watching this, you are learning from other, you are learning this about other women of your phylum or your species type. <laughs> These two women have one thing in common that I'm trying to teach you. I'm going to try to make this fast. I'm already running out of time and this video is going longer than what I expect to. That right there. Chaos. Chaos. No, my nails ain't dirty. Surprise you, didn't I? Yeah, I clean my nails. <laughs> you must know that on a general basis, my men and some women with a sense of logic. Okay. The women who are now being produced love chaos chaos could be avoided if you use logic I mean it could be avoided if there is a thing called communication it could be avoided if the woman is honest to say hey I want this or I do not want that I'm gonna be honest about this I'm not gonna be honest about that or hey you know I want to go here I'm gonna go here whether you like it or not he may not feel it he may not agree but you know what it eliminates the chaos it's either gonna be a logical conversation about this is that that is this that's what you want to do cool I'm okay with it okay but she can't function that way okay but what she will bring to the table is a chaos that makes these young men and men now who are married a very uncomfortable very stressful lifestyle without peace because you start asking and especially what Steve and Paul did on a constant basis they keep they asked me as more they said Morpheus why let's put it on the chalkboard I know got to get kindergarten with this I'm going to go ahead and put my sloppy handwriting down here and say, why? The big question. Question mark. Why? Okay. Are you ready? Emotional stimulation. Aha, says Einstein emotional stimulation that's why when she say I don't like it but she likes it because she don't like it that's why when the music is playing and all these feelings and all the the drama is going on she's into it because it's making her just frigid right it's all over the place she say I don't like it but that's why she likes it because it's everywhere if wrong is right it's good because it's emotional satisfaction in a catastrophe of chaos which stimulates her emotions and keeps her moving. 
Why does she want the bad guy? Why does she want this guy that's on the edge all the time? Why does she want this guy that's always going to be uncertain? Why does she want this guy to say, oh, I'm going to show up at 9 o'clock, but he shows up at 11.30, and she's still sitting in the car waiting for him. Where is he at? Where is he at? And then he, she she wait long enough, and then he shows up. She yells at him, oh, you, how come you, you stood me up, and you made me wait that long, but you know what? She's still with him. Why? Because of the emotional chaos that she produces and that she loves so much. Okay? Because with the emotional chaos, logic cannot survive. With emotional chaos, a simple peace relationship cannot survive because there's no chaos. When the fish is swimming, without the sharks and it's just swimming just enjoying the waves and the water you know eating as it should and just flowing like it should it's too boring it's too average he's too he's too nerdy you know he's got this shirt and tie he's just too nerdy he doesn't know too much he's just so much of a bookworm that's all it's just not exciting he comes home every day. He just always do the same thing. He just do this. Every day. He's just so honest. He's so straightforward. He's so straightforward. You know, he's just like buy the book. It's just too much because she needs chaos, uncertainty. Because it's not mentally stimulating. It's not emotionally stimulating. Because for a lot of them, not for some of you who's watching this. It may not be you, but for the majority of them, for a lot of them, it's not about thinking. It's about the emotional feeling of the stimulation that matters. That's why they end up in a marriage for 12, 13 years with guys that they know full well is no good for them. That's why they give themselves away so early at the ages of 17 and up to 27 by the time you get to her okay she's a used up bubblegum wrapper or chewing gum that you chew on you chew on the gum all day you know how bad that is how tasteless the sugar is gone and all you got is this wad of plastic in your mouth okay because in the early years it's chaos it's blue pill guys everywhere Okay, blue pill guys everywhere. Because the chaos is uncertain. It's not she's not sure about anything. And everybody's guiding her wherever that she wants, wherever that they want her to go. And she'll go. And she can blame them in the end and say, No, they told me to do it. It's your fault. You let me do it. Why did you do why? You did it. I didn't do it. You did it. Because if the average woman realizes that inside her is this girl who does not take accountability, it will bring a reality check of reflection that bridges to responsibility. And responsibility means that person will be forced to say, my bad. I did it. I'm sorry. My fault. And then what happens? You have to change your life. But how many people change their life and their lifestyle without any dramatic situation occurring in order for them to change their lifestyle? What you men and some of you women need to comprehend is this. The majority of the women who are in that situation they're not interested in changing their life because even if they do, if you watch some of my other videos, okay, there's always going to be a blue pill guy there because all he wants to do is to have a taste of your chewed up plastic bubble gum with no sugar that's been chewed on for 24 hours. Okay, so whatever wrong that she does. Whatever she would do, okay, that person, if they're not Paul, would be like, oh, you can cut in line. Come on. Come on and cut in line. Come on. You can get in front of me. 
And her sense of entitlement will continue. Her sense of, oh, I'm I'm sexy. I got all this, so you need to respect this. That Steve dude regret it. Okay? Ever letting her do what she did that day. Okay? He said that in that conversation, he just walked away. And, you know, he took her out the next day and didn't think too much about it. But he started catching wind of Red Peel. He started catching wind of Megtow. And he heard about me. Okay? And that's when he decided to say, you know what? This is out of, this is outrageous. Because he kept in his mind and his heart, he could never trust her ever again. Okay? And he felt like he was he felt bad about not being able to trust her, but he wanted to know why this eerie feeling was there because he didn't have enough guidance at home. A lot of these brothers don't have guidance at home. A lot of men don't have another man to say, look, man, look. You need to comprehend the species. You need to comprehend what you're getting yourself into. They don't get that. So they finally get in the hold of real knowledge now and comprehending, okay, this is what I'll do in that situation again. So now he knows it's a zero thing. When she's, it's either you talk or we are done. It's either you call me and let me know what's up, okay? I'm going to let you know what's up. You can find somebody else. And the bad part about it is, she will. You want to know why? There's always going to be a blue pill guy around who don't know anything about a red pill. Who don't know anything about their own phylum or about the female species where he's still trying to talk. We can't never understand women. They're just so complicated. I don't understand. I don't understand how women are, man. You know, she just keep cheating and acting crazy, man. I don't understand, man. We were sitting up there watching the car. We was washing our car, man. And I mean, I told her, man, I got this Corvette, right? And and check this out, my you okay? And um, you know, and she, I'm out there trying to wash my Corvette, right? And she's just sitting there ranting about, you know, wanting to go down there to Kentucky Derby and talking about how I won't take her to the what's that place, the Indianapolis State Fairground, right? And I'm sitting there like, dude, I'm like, girl, why don't you just enjoy us just being out here and you know it's hot, you know, it's kind of warm outside. You know, why don't you help me wash this Corvette down a little bit? You know, why don't you just go ahead and take this dry towel, right? And just, you know, wash the bumper a little bit. You know, just, you know, I mean, just dry it off. You know what I mean? Just dry it this way. You know, I wash it, you know, get a little water on it. You know what I mean? Just go ahead and dry it off with just like this, 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 this very important silk. You know, you can't scratch it with this thing, right? So she's sitting there, you know, just talking and complaining. So I'm like, baby, listen. Listen, man, I'm like, baby, listen, we're trying to enjoy ourselves, and maybe later on we'll do something else, but let's just, just chill out right there. But she always wanted to go here, she wanted to go there, she wanted to go all kind of places. Listen, man, I work like 80, I work like 80 hours a week, Monday. 80 hours a week, 80 hours a week. So the first chance I get, and I pull my Corvette out, right, I'm thinking she's going to be all right with being with me right i mean we got like all day to enjoy ourselves but now nah, she wants to sit up here and complain and complain and complain and you know what she did you know she had this old belt buckle on right and they had like keys down here she had so much of an attitude that i said no nah, we ain't gonna go to the kentucky derby and now nah, you know we probably should be able to go somewhere else and she was like Rah. you know getting a little attitude huffing and puffing right like pa 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 you know how she do bro like pa 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 so she called herself trying to lean up against my Corvette that I just got waxed and I'm trying to wash it and I'm drying it. She leaned up on my Corvette and almost scratched my paint job with her little rough belt and the keys that she has singing on her belt. Why well, am I going to deal with this man? What am I supposed to do when I've been with this girl for like, you know, 10 years? Man, I ain't about to deal with it no more. <laughs> because you're not comprehending. Chaos is her function. If you don't ever understand it or never hear from anybody else, okay, you heard it from Morpheus through a powerful red pill. Ch 
chaos is her function. I have met women, but very much on a rare occasion, okay, where she will say this. She would say, I don't want to talk to this certain person because if I do, I know I'm going to say the wrong thing. When you meet a girl like that, if she say that, listen, if you hear a girl or a woman or your wife or your daughter or any bipedal species <clears throat> that's the opposite sex of the male species gender and she says the reason why I didn't make that phone call the reason why I did not do the reason why I did not confront that person is because I did not want to say the wrong thing this girl knows that there is a little girl inside her okay that will slip up and be illogical so she's not trying to say the right so what she would do on a normal basis she will ask somebody else to do it like maybe on a job or a corporation there may be a man in the background there may be a dude right here but yet she may be in HR or maybe she's the boss or the supervisor. OK, she'll get mad and upset. OK, she'll get emotional like anybody else will get. OK, but she's like, so what she'll do is instead of her going further, she'll say, wait a minute. She'll be like, Paul or John or, or, or Toby or listen, we got this problem, this problem, this problem, this problem. I need you to talk to them. I need you to talk to them. That way the male can use his logic and be able to speak with this person without getting emotional and deal with it professionally. When you meet a girl like that, she's on the path to healing. Trust me. She's she got a mind on herself where she's controlling herself. Okay? Where she is sensible but when you aren't dealing with women like that, which is very rare, okay, and you deal with women who are like, I'm not going to call, no, I'm going to do it by myself. Let me, no, I can do it. I got, no, no, I'm going to go ahead. No, because I feel this way, 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 because I feel this way. This will happen. Okay? Then you'll be like, why did that happen? Now, may that be somewhat of a lesson to some of you. And I know y'all getting it in different forms, from different make towel, from different angles. But this is not specifically for me, but this was for Paul and Steven and other teenagers and other people around the country who was growing up and trying to figure out this thing. Because the genders are now not a mystery anymore. Okay. And trying to figure out the woman is not trying to figure out the uh, space ganymede or trying to figure out how many planets that we have out there and if there is life out in the universe somewhere that we don't know about. Okay. They are readable like the back of my hand right now. It's brown and you can see it. You can see my knuckles real easy. Okay. And you can see my five fingers. You understand? It's just that you have too many people who are like this. They are the ones who are being attacked. Okay. They are the ones who are producing the next generations tomorrow. There's the ones who are popping out kids with low IQ. They're the ones who are popping out kids with self-entitlement who want to stay home and play video games and be in front of their iPhone and be lazy and expect for the president to give them millions just for existing. Okay? It's a real war and it's starting with these kids. Okay? It's starting young. It's starting very young. And we're overlooking it. Okay? It's not no longer a problem between us adults anymore. The poison is seeping down to your children where the little boy is getting kicked around and he's getting talked about and he's supposed to be this gentleman by the bigger sister who's doing whatever she wants to do and feel like she's entitled to because she's a female. That's this audio. This is this video for you. 
Leon C, aka Morphed Up. Don't forget, I got that book down there for you in the description box. It is 2020, America Must Rise or Fall. Very simple book. Simulate it and enjoy the evolution of knowledge.